Hey people, what's up collective? It's your girl Stacy. You know who I am. <laughs> uh, remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, this way you meant to see it. It's a general reading, it may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, right? Bella, Bella. Absolutely. What are we going to read from today? Hmm. Let's, let's dig in here. Spirit got a message. A Thanksgiving message for the collective. Yeah, that's what Spirit said. This is what Spirit told me to give you. Mm. Spirit, what is the message for the collective? Alright, let's do this. First chakra your sick your root chakra okay so this is your foundations your behaviors your beliefs traditions what your mama did your, your parents did what your grandparents did things that are passed down to you the number 35 could be significant 53 could be significant so this is about your belief system, your value system, you know, your morals, your values, things that you believe in, that kind of stuff. So somebody could be uh, reflecting on that, on those things. Spirits, what's this message? Cornucopia. Harvest. Hmm. This is your value system. This is this is about what you value in life. The things that you feel make you feel successful. You know what I'm saying? What what? Yeah, outside um, outside influences. Yeah, what you believe. Yeah, you're you're reflecting on that appreciation. Okay, Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. All right, so somebody's appreciative. Okay, all right. So somebody could feel appreciative of their family, of their upbringing, of I'm hearing how they what how they learned how to cook. You know, pass down recipes and stuff. Somebody could feel appreciated. You know what I mean? For them. For who they are. What they believe. Um, their values. Their integrities. You know. Somebody feels appreciated. You know. That somebody appreciates what they know. What they've learned. Yeah. Somebody feel like they have, they have a victory. You know. I feel like somebody feels appreciated. Somebody feels like. They've shown up in the in in a I don't want to say the right energy, you know what I mean? But you know, somebody feels proud of themselves. I feel contract. Ooh we, ooh we. Somebody could have learned a valuable lesson. Somebody fulfilled a contract. Um, this could be a soul contract. Okay. Somebody learned somebody learned something about what they value and what what means what's most important in their life. And somebody feels appreciated for it. So with this contract, this is balance, this is justice. Somebody somebody feels vindicated. Oh, come on, spirit. Somebody feels vindicated. The number two could be significant. 15, 51, 6. Take it how it resonates. I'm also seeing with this two, this cornucopia. This is like um, 
I'm also picking up like on a Gemini energy. So somebody could have a Gemini heavily aspect of door to personal healing. I'm telling you, somebody's done some healing. Somebody, yes, somebody feels like they have opened the door to personal happiness. And this is not talking about the outside stuff. This this cornucopia is peace, freedom, um, detachment, like knowing oneself. Accepting oneself for who you are, you know what I'm saying. Nothing outside you influence you it can influence you outside of being and and doing exactly what you want, who you want, how you are meant to do it. You know what I'm saying. You're not being led any way by anybody else, anybody else's influence. You know what I mean. You don't need any outside source. You heard me, and that's confirmation, and that's. The cornucopia, that's the blessing. Third chakra, sacral, how you feel, how you show up in the world. What What's inside comes out. It shows up, you know. Then come on now. <clears throat> Hostilities, it came in the reverse. It came out like this. It fell out like this. So, I feel like you released any kind of hostilities any kind of resentments um you had to do a lot of forgiveness to be in this energy and not just of others but of yourself because we when we show up the way we show up that's what we attract we attract those people you know to show us who we are so we can elevate every life is a big classroom big lessons all the time i feel like you're not you don't have any hostilities towards anyone you know, the number 26 could be significant. Uh, 34, 43, 62 could be significant. Storm warning. Mm -mm. Sh shifting of the energy. Closing out cycles. Realigning your thoughts. Tearing down old paradigm paradigms. Paradigms. And, and confirmation. Um, yes, and rebuilding. And learning how to be self-sufficient. To have self-love. You know. Yeah. Okay, what's this tower spirit? What's the storm warning? Second chakra. So what was the other chakra that I said? Second chakra. The first is the root. This is the sacral chakra. So the other one. Child, let me see. Hang on a second, y'all. Yeah, sacral, the solar plexus was the other one. I don't know them all like like I I would like to, like I need to study, but yeah. No. Okay. The sacral chakra is your beliefs, your values, how you show up in the world, what you believe in, um, what you align yourself with. This is it. And this has changed for you. That's that's when the storm warning is coming in. Where I said you're breaking down old paradigms, old thought process, old thoughts, old behaviors, even things that you learn from your parents, parents, you know, down in your generation. You know what I'm saying? If it if it's not in alignment with who you who you are now, because you're releasing out, releasing any kind of attachments, anything that pulls on you. Out of you working towards your higher self that pulls you away from yourself, you're releasing that, and that's what the storm one is. For. You see how it's tearing down that old um, structure, okay? Your old thought process, your old thoughts, your old beliefs. You're learning to believe in you, not what somebody else tells you you should believe in, but what you believe in, how you feel, listening to your intuition. What's this message for my collective? The garden and the gate. Making a decision to go through the gate. To finish the process. To, to allow the journey to unfold. And to build the cat, build you into the cat, Build the character in you that, that you've done. You know what I mean? And now you're about to walk into a whole new world. You know what I'm saying? A world where you see things different, you feel things different, you do things different. You do what's, what's in alignment with you, what brings you joy, what brings you peace, what brings you love. 
You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Spirit. Listen! Come on now. Angel of Strength. Absolutely. Learning from the old. Tearing down what no longer serves you. Building strength and wisdom. You still got it in you, but you got to balance it out. You hear me? You keep that subdued. And you walk in love. That this that monster that 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 right here, that's your protection, no doubt about it. Right? But it only comes out when you need it to. You learn that you don't need to attack everything. You don't have to show up to every fight. Every fight ain't for you. Sometimes it's just for you to just to learn a lesson and to move on. Thank you, Spirit. What's this message? Caring connections and all tied up. Mm. You know, the first thing I see when I look, action on the bottom, the first thing I thought I felt was um, shell shock. You know, after going through so many, it's like I feel like you could have dealt with a lot of hostilities, you know, from within and from outside, outside sources, you know what I'm saying? And it's possible because of you changing, you know, you growing, you healing. You're changing your perspective. Sometimes people don't want us to change, you know, from who they're familiar with. Because that's who they've adapted to. That's how they learn how to deal with you. Through, you know, through those interactions, those lower vibrational energies. You know, they act one way, you act another. And it's this back and forth, back and forth. You know what I'm saying? You've gotten off of that cycle. With this change in your thought process. You've decided now, when somebody do something, uh, hold up. I... I remember this feeling, you know what I'm saying? Every time they do that, I say something, and then it goes here. So how about if I just don't say that, and whew, that closes it out that cycle. You heard? Thank you, spirit. Yep, take that action. Forward movement. Oh, so with this shell shock all tied up in caring connections, there could be someone, you know, that's... Ooh, yes, you definitely have to change your... um. Your thought process that somebody could be, you know, trying to come in and show you love and it's somebody that's very caring. But you could feel like because of all of the hostilities that you've been through, you could be not used to somebody coming in showing your love. You hear me? You could be used to people always being hostile towards you in some way, shape or form, even if it's not, you know, right 3D, it could be, un un you know, that, that hidden shit, you know, those hidden uh, tendencies that people do, you know what I mean, that Gemini energy, that smile on your face but stabbing you behind your back, yeah, you got it, you got, you have to come out of that, because there's somebody around you that wants to show you a real caring, reciprocated energy, and you could, you're holding back because, listen, because your heart's been broken, you wear your heart on your sleeves. Every time you've given your heart, somebody put a chip in it. Every single time. But you never stop loving, but you have pulled back. Yeah. On freely giving to anyone, no matter what it looks like. Because quite possibly it could have been carried connections that were had the underlying hostilities towards you. You understand what I'm saying? So I can dig it. Mm-hmm. But with this storm warning, with the tearing down that foundation, this is somebody that appreciates you. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what to tell you, sis. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you're going to have to figure it out because you're still holding on, being bound by those old wounds, those old narratives. You're going to have to release yourself from that. That's why you're scared to walk through that gate. You heard me? The gate to bliss. The gate to happiness. The gate to freedom. You're afraid to free yourself. Wow, look at that spirit. You're afraid to free yourself. You're the only one that's holding yourself hostage. Mm. By the past. That's no longer there. I mean, it's, the past is the past if you want to hold, if you want to carry it around with you and think about it every day. Of course it's going to be right there. You know what I'm saying? It's there, but it can't hurt you here today. It can't touch you today. Only way it, it can mess with you is up here. Period. What we got here? Door to spirit. Listen. 
Listen, listen, continue to do the work that you're doing. It's time for you to walk through that door. Trust, you trust God. You're doing something right. You're changing the way you're thinking. You're removing things that no longer serve you. You've already torn down the foundation. Trust the spirit. Trust God the rest of the way. That's the door. Go through the door. Go through. Go through. Go through. Go through. Go through. Don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back. Especially when it's good. You know what I'm saying? I can dig it though. You know, Listen. Yep. You're going to have to walk away from the past. And just go. I know you keep looking back. You keep. I'm not sure. I'm scared. That's all I know. But it ain't all you know. It's all you've experienced. It's not all you know. Go experience something else. Go experience something else. Mm, come on spirit. The numbers 30 could be significant. 23, 32, 14, 63, 10. Patience. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. The world. Closing out the cycle. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, you already know. Look. You got to listen. You got to make a decision. I, I, With this patience, I feel like spirits being patient with you because of what you've been through. But it's time. It's time. It's time, angel of love. It's time to release your wings. It's time to show your wings. It's time to keep continue loving. Ooh, that nose itch. It's time to continue loving. And it's time for you to receive it. Not with underlying conditions, unconditional love, not love with conditions on it, strings attached. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. I did something for you, you got to do something for me. No, this is somebody that wants to give it to you and you just need to receive it. What's this message? Look at this, look at this Daughter romance and man holding a heart I cannot make it up I cannot make it up I can't make it up I cannot make it up Third chakra Your sacral Your solar plexus How you feel How do you feel You still holding on to the broken heart is it hard for you to get that out the pit of your stomach? Is it hard for you to trust, to just like release it and just, it's done, it's over that. <clears throat> Sweep that out the door. I'm telling you, if you, if you're healing and you, and it is a thing in your past and you have a bright future ahead of you and, you, and you're still in that energy like, I don't know if I'm making the right, yes, you're making the right choice, Go. <laughs> Go Look, Anxiety Go Money you, you feel like money If you had this amount of money If you had just had some money You could <sighs> Listen it's coming <laughs> It's coming Heal that broken heart It's coming Look Look, you got anxiety, yeah, but it's coming. These financial constraints, is, yeah, it's over. It's coming. Stop worrying. Stop worrying about if somebody gonna hurt you. You know, it's bound to happen in our lifetime anyway. That's how we learn lessons. But you're in another place. You're attracting a different kind of energy now. You're not attracting heartache anymore. Unbind yourself to the past. Let it go. Build up that strength. Let it go. Trust the universe and trust God. And your finances will are going to get better. Keep going. Don't turn back. Yep, look at it. Say thank you. Thank you for the lessons. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for giving me the strength that I needed. It's time to go. Alright, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the message. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Deuces.